Yo, 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 once again, we back this with just some messengers podcast. Of course, I'm Mo. I am Mike. You know, we back here once again, man. Another week, man. More shit to get into, brothers. What's good with you? Doing good, doing good. How you doing? It is officially 2025. <laughs> September is here. It's 2025. <laughs> September. On my clock. On my clock. And according to what I've been seeing on Instagram this week, all y'all niggas with them chase accounts. Let's get with it, and brother. Let's get, a, bro. Bring, bring them the, Chase accounts through, bro. Bro, what what year is that picture from when niggas is waiting outside of Chase Bank? You see that picture? <laughs> yeah, I remember that shit. What the? Where is that? What year that from? That, yeah, is that around the pandemic? Probably no. Nah, probably was pandemic time. Niggas, <laughs> niggas was acting the ass. Bro, right. what the fuck was going on the last forty eight hours with this Chase shit, man? I've been the whole week. Niggas are running chases up, man. Hey, I hate to say it, guys. Chase gonna make an example out of some of y'all niggas, man. <laughs> I see a nigga deposit sixty k, eighty k. I saw, I saw one that said four hundred and thirty five thousand dollars. Right, man. Cause you can't go to the bank and make no withdrawal. That shit gonna get flagged. So how the fuck are you getting this money out this account? I don't want to talk too much, but y'all niggas, y'all niggas gonna get made an example of, bro. Like they do it. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I saw some, I've been seeing some ridiculous shit that y'all doing, bruh. bruh. And stop begging for them Chase accounts, too. Stop begging for them shit. I mean, they they bringing a lot of attention to it now. I'm pretty sure Chase about to get on top of it. Hey. This scamming shit get real, huh? That shit is crazy, bruh. Like, what's wrong with y'all niggas, man? <laughs> So is is it the is it the ch- of course we we ain't dry century right right like that. so what is like these niggas just getting is it credit is it checks is it I think I think what's going on right now because um depending on the amount of the check they I guess they'll they'll let you take some of it out like on off the ATM okay like you know how like when you go to the shit ATM, my bank got a limit on, on that's ATM what I'm saying withdrawal, but nigga. It, it depends though sometimes. You can configure your accounts where you can take a certain amount of shit out, though. Like, you can't do oh, that. Oh, like change settings You can't change like the that? settings. You can't do that type of shit, now. But I don't know what these niggas got going on. They 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 running it up, though. And y'all hot as hell. Nigga, it's like hot, hot. I seen like five niggas that I know personally. Like, hey, y'all, who got a Chase account? I'm like, bro, y'all wildin', bro. Man, niggas tripping, bro. Y'all Uncle tripping. Uncle Sam always watching. It's not even that. Y'all just hot. I mean, yeah, that shit is, is y'all, hot. It's y'all hot, hot bro. Y'all hot, man. Even niggas that I know who formerly used to do that shit, mm-hmm. but like, nah, this shit's some hot shit right That's here. Some like, hot shit, bro. So you mean to tell me. 80 Chase, bands. Chase, let, Chase like letting all y'all niggas get on through? Nah, something ain't right. Didn't, didn't they show in the previous balance of like $100? Yeah. Then the next day, that shit like 80 bands. Hey, man. <laughs> Some hot shit going on, Mo. That's super hot, man. Y'all be y'all be careful out here, man. That's all I can say. Don't let nobody uh Chase is me. like Chase and, and, and it's crazy because Chase has been like the face of scamming Forever. for like for like years now. Forever. We talking about I remember when I far, first started seeing around 2015, 16. Before that too. I'm talking like 2011, 2012. That long? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, y'all tripping out here though, man. Y'all stay away. Y'all stay away from people who who trying to do stuff to y'all Chase account, man. I ain't never had Chase. I never had Chase. I never had Chase, but I heard they like. No, that's Navy Fed. They be real good with the. Uh, excuse me. They real good with the uh, interest rates and shit like that. Right. You remember the Burger King that used to be on Main Street in front of Azalea Square? Yeah. Right next to the AT and T. It was a Chase right there. That's a Chase now. Oh, okay. That used, used to be a Burger King. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. That used to be a Burger King. Right. It's, it's That's a, why when I saw the picture of the niggas lined up outside the store, I'm like, nigga, that look like the one right there on Main Street. It's another bank, like, right by there, too, right? And is that your square? Yeah. They building all kinds of shit over well, there. Yeah, well, you go further down, it's not in front of Zaya Square. You got my bank, BB&T. Oh, all right. Then across the street. No, no. So you got Chase. You go further down. You got my bank, BB and T. Then you go further down. You got uh ah. Uh, what's the what's the red and yellow sign bank? Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo. Yeah. And then you got some Bank of America. I think a little bit further down the street. That shit. When you walk inside, cause the shit look like a town hall bank. Like it, it's a bank, but it look like town hall or some yeah. shit. So when you walk in, right, they got like the bulletproof glass. All that shit, like your 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 check before you even walk. So when you walk in there, 
the the tellers and shit, they don't got like no windows or none of that other shit up there. Like, you try to you try your best trying to rob that shit, my nigga. That's all I got to say. Hey man, y'all be y'all be careful with these chases, man. I will say though, banks have taken a a lot of big steps as far as protecting like uh not only the money but the workers there. So most of the time when you walk through a bank, they treat that shit like TSA. Mm-hmm. Not nowadays. Yeah, they treat that shit like you just can't walk in no bank and rob that. If you're trying to rob a bank in 2024, you're a dumbass. Real shit. Hey, bro, niggas been robbing banks this summer. I've been reading it on Twitter, bro. Like, a lot of banks got robbed this summer, bro. Bro, they, they, they must have got some shitty-ass yeah, shitty yeah. security or something. That's the thing, too. A lot of a lot. It's a lot of banks that ain't caught up yet, though, as far as that type of shit. Here's my thing, too. Like, also, even with these niggas... Excuse me. Even with these niggas trying to deposit, right? And you going again, you're going to try to take some of this bread out because you're just not going to have that money sitting in the account. You got to... The goal is to spend it. That shit's going to get flagged. Yeah. <laughs> so niggas trying to finesse the Zell a cash app game. Uh, I don't really know too much for too much more about it, man. I just know niggas dropping these ridiculous drops in these. I've been seeing some funny tweets surrounding that chase shit, though. <laughs> so I see somebody say, last week y'all was the mirror. Now you asking for chase. Fact. <laughs> Who? What city would you say is scammers' uh, capital? New York. Over ATL. It's, that's where the, the the scam started up there. Nah, you are right. You are right. A lot of the scams that's in different cities is niggas that came from New York spreading the scams. That's the truth. <laughs> that's just the truth. <laughs> so it would be New York. Then who you got after that? It might be Atlanta. Top three. Uh, Miami? York, the major cities, New York, Atlanta. And I'll put Cali over Miami. I'll put LA over Cali. I mean, over um over Miami. Miami, like, fourth, though. That's a lot of scamming niggas down there, too. How much time you think you get behind some shit like that? I don't know, man. They, I don't know how they... They might be changing how they, how they prosecute white-collar crimes now, though. So you might... I don't know. Just be careful out here, man. Y'all don't fall for all that, all that chase shit, man. I saw it like it say, man. The niggas end up like hush puppy. Hey man, free free the goat, man. <laughs> free hush puppy, man. <laughs> free free the goat, man. That nigga there, bro. You talk about extravagant lifestyle. Hey, <sighs> you gonna go hard? You gotta go hard, man. Oh, that nigga was going beyond hard, mo. It's going crazy. That nigga dog. was going crazy on the ground. Crazy, dog. I'm talking, I first came across Hush probably like, what, 2017, 18-ish? He, went on, he was on a crazy run, bro. That's a crazy Elite run. Elite run. That's a crazy run he went on, bro. I've never seen a nigga Instagram with legit every post, everything look extravagant and clean. I don't- Like, he didn't look like he know did how anything going, regular. I don't know how niggas go on runs like this and don't get out of the shit before it's too late, man. Like, Well, you got him. Him, you got uh, what, what's dog the the Hellcat nigga? Omni. He already out now, right? He get out at the end of the year. He, he was the one with the the cable streaming shit, right? Yeah, he was going crazy with that shit too. Was so like, how was he getting money off that? What he was selling packages? People, people was coming. The uh, it was the it was the Fire Sticks and shit like that. You get. You you can run it as like a subscription. That's what it was. Five five six. Okay, okay I remember can, now. Once they upload the shit on it, you can run that shit like a subscription. And you don't pay, they'll just cut it off. So you got thousands of people under you paying you, cause that that's a great deal. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know, <laughs> you get all the channels, all the movies and shit for what fifty dollars. So you had yeah. I remember when I first moved to my house, I had some shit called Set TV. That shit didn't last though. You got say you got you got. He he had a lot of people. So he had like three thousand people giving him fifty dollars, a hundred dollars a month. That's a lot of bread. That's a lot of bread a month, bro. Hmm. I'm just saying three thousand on the low end because he he was made he was heavy with that shit. So for sure he was heavy. But he only did like what three years? Even at that, he ain't even did that. He went to jail last year. That's what I was thinking. He yeah. went to jail last year. He ain't been he ain't get that much time. He get that much time. I was I'm saying he he did a year and a half. He went to jail like. Midway last year, and he get on the end of this year. What do you think is the biggest scams? The Bernie Madoff shit. That was the hugest scam. Well, not the Bernie. I'm just talking about in terms of if niggas are going to do something. Like, if you was to give oh. me the top three types of scams. 
<laughs> Bernie Madoff. I mean, his shit was yeah, real estate, Bernie right? Made, it was yeah, real estate. No, it was uh like investment accounts. So we talking about the top. I would say real estate is up there. Investments. If you running, if you checks, if you're not yeah, the check shit. That's like I don't know, man. But like the real estate shit. Like if you getting good scams off on that, you're you're tripping, bro. Why are you scamming people a lot of houses and shit, man? Like, I mean, but hey. That yeah. shit happens. No, that shit does happen, DJ though. DJ Envy and Caesar. That shit happens, bro. Pizza, like, pizza. <laughs> I just saw some shit with Tony the Closer was saying his mom, his grandma tried to finesse him out of a million dollars. His grandmother? His own grandma. His own grandma tried to finesse him out of a million. So this is what happened, right? His mom, his grandma, he wanted to help his grandma get a, a, a different house, right? Okay. So he told her, sell me the house you're in right now, and I'll, re- I'll renovate that, and then I'll just put you in another house. Whatever we whatever we sell this house for, after I fix and flip it, I just put you another house or whatever. Okay. Sounds he, fair. first off, she charged him he paid above above market for the house. For just, the house. just to get the house. And that shit had like crazy damages in it or whatever. Okay. So she gets the bread and I forgot what, what else happened, how I got to a million dollars, but so she, at this point, she already has a bread. It's Tony's now to renovate and do whatever he want with it. Right. Okay. But it was some. I forgot another stipulation to how I got to a million dollars. But she somehow she gets the money and she basically runs off on this nigga like, like I'm she not don't even want a new a new she house. She want a new house. She ran off. He went like she's staying with other relatives just so she can just have somewhere to stay. She not trying to. She was. She was. She was acting real crazy with them and shit. Like his dad had to get involved. Like that shit. He been like that shit fucking up their family. Like this is grandma. You get what I'm saying? Then we just have a talk last <laughs> week about how we can't bring every family member to the table, but grandmother out of all people, that's insane. Dog, this nigga, that nigga, be like, man, I, I don't even, I can't even say how hurt I am behind this shit. Your like, grandmother, you wouldn't think your grandmother or grandfather be the finesse. You probably think like a cousin, uncle, auntie. Not granny though. Not man. granny. That's crazy. But yeah, yeah. That's what that's what Tony Cole was dealing with, man. That shit kind of that shit kind of sad, honestly. So you would say uh, investments? What else? That's probably that's probably the top one, man. Or like that shit that Madoff was doing, honestly. Because niggas, people will give you their money if they think you can flip it on on, on the stock. Correct. I remember like, I was watching uh. Um, trap. What's that? What uh? uh that's the movie Wall with, Street uh, Trapper. You know Wall Street Trapper, oh, black yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, black dude. And he was talking about like how when he first got locked up, and he was talking to a dude who got locked up for uh, because he said you know how people were locked up based off they ban, and he got off for embezzlement. Mm-hmm. He got locked up for embezzlement, but he was telling him that's how he got in investments because he was like he told him, "I mean, y'all playing the wrong game." He said, "I owed." He said something about. Two million. He had to pay back eight hundred k in restitution. He only had to do five years. But he said, "I do these." He said, "If I get if I get locked up again, I come back do two. But you'll still be here doing your ten. He said, "You playing the wrong game." And he said, "That's how he really got into investment." Now, Wall Street Trapper, from my understanding, he ain't never been like no scammer or nothing. Like no, 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 no. He legit, legit, legit. He legit. He but legit. he was telling him basically about in the stock no, market and all this other yeah. shit. But he was like, "That's how he got into that shit." Though. He said, "Yeah." He said, "Man, shit." He said, "I'm here for ten years for attempt murder mm-hmm. and all this other shit." And he was like, "Yeah." He was like, "You know, I got up two million. I only had to pay back eight hundred. So he still got one point two somewhere." <laughs> Hey man. Yep. Shit crazy out here, bro. Hey man, it's, this is this But niggas it's, are always trying to find they they chasing that they chasing that American dream. Some niggas are always finding a new way. It's probably millions of ways to scam. Mm-hmm. But niggas is gonna find a way. Yeah, where there's a will, there's a way, man. That's just how it goes. I think that was just the with the with the uh with the rise of technology, niggas is always gonna find a loophole. Yeah. I mean that's just how I go, man. When it's always people trying to trying to find a way to get on through. So that's how I go, man. I don't think you're gonna find one with music though. If you do, you a different motherfucker. It kind of did already, man. It's a lot of it's a lot of ways niggas scamming with music too. Niggas be throwing bullshit ass showcases and be promising record label looks and shit like that, getting people money. That's that's the real. That's that's one of the longest running scams. Those. uh Farm bots. Oh yeah, I remember streaming when farms said, and shit like that. I remember this one girl. She was on Budden Pod. She was somehow she fronted somebody like 
80 bands or something like shit, 100 bands, and it totaled out to like 160 or something like that, just to like jumpstart their career type shit. It didn't work, or the dudes ran off? Basically ran all type shit. He didn't hold up his end of the deal, basically, as far as what he was supposed to do for he the He just artists. took the 160. It was Some out AR of... type scamming. Hey, man. Plenty no, of... he took the 80, but it amounted over time yeah. up to about 160 or 140, yeah. some shit like that. That's a lot of fucking money to be playing with, bro. <coughs> that ain't no a little amount of bread. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of money to be on somebody, bro. Hey, man. I wish the best to her. Oh, niggas, niggas get... Niggas get in trouble for... Less. Niggas get in trouble for five bands. Yeah. You talking about hundreds of thousands? No. Hell no. Especially not in this economy, bro. Especially in this economy, bro. Niggas is hurting for real. And you talking about 80... 70, 120, 150. Average nigga ain't walk around just to be given no $150,000 for That don't work like that. Hell no. So you niggas better be careful with this chase shit. Especially when we coming up on the end of the year, going into 2025. You better be careful. Yeah, man. Y'all lay low with that chase. <laughs> that shit started when? Monday? I, I don't know when it started. I just know I've, I've been seeing it damn near the whole week. Since at least Monday. So that mean it probably was running last week too. Week before last. But niggas is going to so niggas burnt it out on social media this week. That's what that tells oh, me. Oh well you gotta remember the most recent one also was PPP loans. Yeah, PPP. Hey man. It's a lot of people ain't getting baby for that. blue, man. Yeah, shout out to baby blue. That nigga did like what, nine months? And came right back home. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga there was tripping, bro. That nigga was losing his mind. That nigga was tripping with his PPP loan shit, bro. For sure. Like, I don't know why niggas didn't act like they didn't have to pay, pay that shit back plus interest, though. Hey, man. Niggas think a lot of things, man. Y'all, like I said, man, y'all got to be careful out here, man. Just be careful, bro. I don't know, <laughs> man. I don't know. So what you think about uh, Keith Lee recent uh, running with uh, DC, man? I've been seeing a lot of discourse around Keith Lee lately, man. I think it's it's like the popular thing to to uh, try to dunk on shit on him. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Bro, don't be bothering nobody. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like he the he's like the main example of uh, you know you you can die a hero or live long enough to become yeah, a villain. <laughs> that's that's he really, don't ever come off as no dude with no ill intent. That's though. what I'm I saying. Think he like, honestly, be feeling like he I, and I don't follow Keith Lee that. I think and he, if I just if I catch him, I catch him. He come across as just a really a honest nigga. And and as of lately, he he really been trying. He been on some shit where like he not even trying to put if if it's bad, he not even trying to put that out. Okay, you know what I'm saying that's that type of shit he been on. So lately. now they mad if he not reviewing certain restaurants. I think what it was it was with the DC shit. I think uh, people people thinking that he just pulling this shot his ass basically like ain't no way you get this food from places and shit like that like you was trying to shit on us but I'm gonna be real I've been up there mm-hmm. their soul food ain't worth a damn damn a lot of the food that's good up there is like your Caribbean food your, okay uh, you know but if you want some Japanese good soul food, food you ain't don't I was you wouldn't th- recommend DC I was thoroughly disappointed what's bad about it it's, it's not it don't got no soul it's bland <laughs> that shit bland like they make their food different, bro. Like, the I went so to you like can tell walking into a soul food spot is is generic. I you can't really tell to get the food, but the food the food ain't that good. Man. So it ain't even the look; it's just a taste. I mean, cause it's, I went to like three different spots, and I got to ask my mom what's the name of them, just cause she she know more spots. But who? Um, it just wasn't good. Like it just wasn't good, bro. Like. It just wasn't. It would look good, like you know how you you know you look at some mac and cheese like oh that look kind of good you know especially if you got it then you eat that shit you be like man nah this ain't it this ain't it man and this is like so you gotta think there's multiple things on your plate that kind of set the set the tone for what's going on. Do you think there's a such thing as a food critic, like as far as really valuing somebody's opinion on it? I mean, they do. everybody taste buds is different, of course. I mean, but at the same time, people people do go, people do try a lot of things based off what other people are doing. Though food is one of the main things. Mm-hmm. People go to certain spots, or they believe they can they they should eat at certain spots based off p- other people going there. 
<laughs> That's how the shit goes. Mm-hmm. I just think food one of the main examples with that. But at the same time, um, I think people can be food critics. They are food critics. It's real deal food critics. What does what does Keith Lee shit is like? They trying to make it. And doesn't seem, he cook himself? Right. He do. He he started off oh, like that's what I that's it started, what I thought. It started off as him cooking, like you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And then he eventually start it, as he start getting more traction. He started like doing food reviews and shit like so, that. So so Button said Keith Lee is not a professional food critic. He is a person who made a professional critique in food. It's a difference. Okay, that's the same. You can say that about anybody. We're you we're would not, say the same thing about uh Anthony the uh, Anthony Bourdain Bourdain. I mean, because essentially he he appointed himself as one of the, one of the guys. Like you, you, you're not nothing until you make yourself that. If we being tech, super technical, we would we couldn't say we were not podcasters or we not podding for real. Great point. That's just the truth. Like you know what I'm saying. Like I that, I just feel like it's, it's, it'd be it's, like somebody say, oh, like Mike and Mo or kind of uh, podding, kind of podding. They kind of they, they, they kind of like podcasters. Got you. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, they made a profession potting. But I mean, what did that even mean? They made a profession. He made a profession food critic, being a food critic. So what does that make him? A food critic. <laughs> he legit. He legit got a following off being a food critic. I can't really say exactly what the difference. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me play the clip. Let me play the clip. When I see somebody that has made a profession out of critiquing food, but. Tell, yeah, me does the, he tell me the difference. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm lost here. Professional food critics huh, have been trained, have been schooled. They might be have chefs. Been, yeah, yes. Yeah, they have they have food He's, OGs. They're like historians. They, those they look are, for they, certain they, tastes they, and certain things. Keith Lee is just telling you what tastes good to him and what doesn't taste good to him. Yeah, that's, food critic can like pick different. out the pick out the seasonings and shit. From yeah, the, yeah. Like we watch like the master chef. So, you so, should have yeah, had yeah. cinnamon over here. I, I could taste the ham. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like those yeah, yeah, the dudes yeah, that yes. be the judges on all of the Bobby yeah, Flay yeah. shows gotcha, and all gotcha. of the kitchen yeah, yeah, shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those gotcha. judges are professional. Your, food your salmon is a critics. little too it. hard. It should have pulled pulled out of. Mm. Keith Lee has made a profession out of critiquing food. And salute to that. I'm I'm saying peace to that because that's fire. Yeah, he's getting But that's very different than than what we talk about. So what are DC saying, Joe? Are they saying that? I don't know what DC is saying. I was in Magic City 10 hours ago shaking ass. (laughs) How the fuck do I know? (laughs) So that was just the the, the basis of it. What you think? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day. I kind of feel like you're pulling that straws. Who, Joe Budden? I mean, yeah, because even the niggas on Iron Chef, they're they still gonna tell you if it tastes good. Do you to have to not. be a chef to critique food. No, you know, I don't if, feel like you got You don't be have to be a chef to critique food. There's some, it's some, that's low key some hate and shit. Because don't we all got to taste the food anyway? Correct. The chef don't give it to another chef. He give it, it to the he person. Give, he, he give it to, it to a random person. I mean, person. they, yeah. they, yes, they do eat it amongst themselves. But all right, that's the difference. What it's of, like the dentist is seeing good teeth shit. Okay. Like they say you don't have to be a dentist to see good teeth, but right. the dentist. But the got, dentist can tell you if your teeth really. And good he gonna not. know what to do to go in there and fix it. Right. Okay. But all right. But even with but if that, a chef, it, like if if I order something right, I don't take my plate back there and go make it myself. Right. Y'all gotta prepare the shit. Right. But it's on me to judge it or not. And it's like all right, even they eat a, they eat a lot of their food amongst themselves too before they let people try it. Right. They can. A room full of chefs and be like, yeah, this is the one right here. But they can come serve it to a happy hour. And what if everybody said this shit trash? Then then what? who wrong? Who's really who's, exactly. who's wrong? Like, you know what I'm saying? A room of y'all thought that shit was good. Y'all gave it to an actual crowd of people and none of them liked it. So who's right and who's wrong here? Y'all going to tell Who's DC? always right, Mo, when it comes to food? The customer? What they say on Good Burger? The customer's always right. The customer's always right. Hey, man. And that's not the shit on no chefs at all. It's it's not even about that. Chefs. It's not even about that. Yeah. So it's like it's like even if a chef gave me their food and I didn't like it, I'd be like, yo, like I didn't like this. So now so now if I tell if I tell a chef I don't like their food, I gotta give them a, a dissertation about why I didn't like the food or do because they the way they saying it or they 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 know how to pull out certain it's ingredients. Season. Why I gotta do all that? Why I gotta do a different? <laughs> if it's good, it's, it's either good, good or it's good. not. Like all right, I can go into small details. Like all right, like maybe this shit was a little tough here or too salty here or whatever. But I don't gotta pull a deep dive. A deep dive on the shit. I know if it tastes good to me or not. I think with Keith Lee's, it's probably something popular. It's just it's just popular. He's right not now. gonna make everybody happy. 
mean, then also, if it could also come from the people who ate there before and they like the food. Yeah. So be like, oh, no, too. this nigga bullshit. Like, no, nah, that might be his honest review. I feel like Keith Lee just be honest, just be giving honest takes, bro. I think it's, he do. I think it's just popular to, to hate on bro right now, honestly. And I don't DC, really. Uh, DC, this probably was the one I seen the most smoke behind. DC really took this shit personal. Yeah. yeah. But I be seeing like the owners. Of the spots, if they know he, but see, that's why I also heard that he don't really try to let you don't try to let people know cities know that he coming. Yeah, he because he don't yeah. want he and don't I, want and I and I respect that because, because I don't want nobody to prep for me. He's had he's had he's he's shown clips where, like when before people caught on to his family, like he would send like an auntie or somebody in and see how they treat her first, mm. and then he'll he'll either come in or he'll let them know through his social media that I was here. Like you know what I'm saying? I like, would want to catch you off guard. I, I want, want you, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want the I'm real coming. you. I want the yeah, real you. Yeah, I want y'all. the real. Yeah, I want the real you. Don't don't be kissing my ass and then y'all treating these people like shit. Yeah. Nah. How your food really tastes food when I walk really in on taste. a random day? How your food don't dick ride me now. Yeah. I want the real deal. Nah, that's real shit. I'd rather send an auntie in or something first, go get the food, bring it back to the car. We do our thing. Who's the other nigga who be doing Keith Lee? Mr. Mr. Chime Time. What's his, that's his name, Mr. Mr. I don't know his name. The black dude with the fade? Yeah. Yeah, he the one. They call him Evil Keith Lee yeah. or some shit? <laughs> he the evil Keith Lee, bro. How you feel about his reviews? I follow his reviews too. I, that's what I'm saying. I like both sides of the coin, honestly, bro. Okay. I like both sides of the what coin. It, what, because it, even him, even with him, if he shit on you. He'll give you another chance. He'll come back. He'll say like he shit on you last month. He'll come back in like two months and be like, all right, a lot of y'all was because he'll he yeah. read his emails. He's like, a lot of y'all be like, yo, you you need you need to catch them again. And he went back to one dude, and the dude was like, Yeah, man, the last your last review hurt my hurt my business and shit like that. Cause then Keith just get some big deal or something like that. Yeah. I can't remember where though, but he just I think he just signed a deal somewhere. And this nigga been on TikTok for a long time, bro. Been grinding. Because I remember when people was talking about. I congratulated him on his deal. Actually, I don't know. I can't remember what it was, but it's like that's what it's about at the end of the day, bro. I like seeing people who but really see, stay down and a, really. A lot of niggas was hating on him, bro. A lot of people was hating on when that deal when that news broke, bro. Like I saw like chefs hating on this man. I don't know what I don't know what for because at the end of the day. I saw it. I didn't see it from the beginning, but I saw the rollout reel right. of his beginning. Right. He just like when he hit, when he, he wasn't had placed, 50 he wasn't followers. placed nowhere. He wasn't exactly. placed nowhere, bro. Like the nigga was just grinding. There's I another like, dude I follow on Instagram called uh Eat with Eat with Zo or Eat with Izzo or something like mm-hmm. that. I fuck with Dog too. He be putting together some some fire shit, bro. That dude and he just recently was on. He came out with a cookbook. He was on a. Uh, I think he was on one of those uh, major shows that be coming on on ABC or something like that. A lot of these niggas who really doing like the food shit, a lot of them niggas be taking off, bro. Yeah, I hating on him, man. Some of them either just be chefs or some of them just be like Keith, like they yeah. like they food reviews and shit like that. Shit, Keith was just at the BT Awards this summer. Mm-hmm. I'm mad at him, man. Get your sign on, Keith. He man. been to Charleston yet? No. Nah. Nah. I mean, he eventually going to have to come he to Charleston. He's going to have to come here, though. He gonna have to, uh, you, I mean, be, you can't skip Charleston. Maybe people in his comments always talking about Charleston. He, I think he's going to pop up here and nobody going really gonna to know until it's over. I would rather him do it that way. <laughs> he need to like, just pop up on I know, I know, I know, I know a couple spots that's going to fail, but I don't want to put them on blast. I know a couple spots that's going to fail if he go there. You feel like he should just... What areas you feel like he should, should tap it to? Because Charleston is big. If he go downtown, it's like only like two spots, three spots. I would suggest. You gotta fuck. I feel you gotta fuck with the North Charleston. You gotta area. fuck with North Charleston though. A lot of the, a lot of our best food come off of off, off of food trucks right now. Correct. Shout out to Mari. He just had uh, who was that? Who just visited his uh his food truck? Ah, I can't remember, man. Let me see. He just because out it it was uh it was somebody notable from Jamaica, man. He just posted about that shit last week. Damn, for real? Mm-hmm. Oh, Bougie Bonton. That nigga was on his truck? Yep. Oh, shit. That's crazy. Damn, I don't think I saw that. I be seeing most of his posts, bro. Shout out to Mari, though, man. Yep. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, Mari had a store. He got his food truck now. Yeah. So, shout out to my dog, man. He doing his thing. Um, He was just also in the newspaper, too. Yeah, He I was saw in the that. city paper. For his uh for his food. So shout out to Dog, man. Dog been doing his thing, man. Um 
Yeah, but you are right. A lot of the food trucks will really be running. I think that's kind of been like the wave too, though. Yeah, that's the new wave. Like the new wave. Uh, we had a couple of them. Shit. Our spot, our, our, our job had had some food trucks pull up about a month ago mm-hmm. or a month and a half ago. So food trucks really been running up, running it up, man. I feel like a lot of them feel like it's more convenient also. It is more convenient. Overhead-wise, you don't got to pay for a building. I think that's the step you do. When you get a building nowadays, you got to really have that clientele, but you got to build it through the food truck. But it's nothing wrong with the food truck, for real. A lot of good food coming off of food trucks, man. I'm going there before I go to most restaurants. What's your favorite ones? Um, what is it? The what's it called? Philip the 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 Philip uh Philip Station. I like that. They got some good. Seafood. And you say Rio shot the Rio? Don't Rio got one now? Yeah, Rio got one too. His food was good too. I got to catch him again. I caught him outside the playground lounge one night. I was coming out there. Um, shot the Rio though. His food was good. Um, man, it's a few of them. Man, it's a few of them. Cause it's like a lot of it's, it's not just soul food food trucks. You got Italian sandwich food trucks. You got all kind of stuff around. This Charleston now, like yeah, it's all kind of stuff. That's why we're right. I feel like Keith. I feel like Keith would give some. Charleston got is known for their food, mainly seafood. So you gonna have to tap into some seafood. He don't eat shellfish though. He don't eat shellfish. He eat fish. He eat fish, but he can't eat shrimp and like clams and shit. Okay. Yeah. He must eat allergic. Yeah, he got shellfish allergy. Oh, okay. Like, that's like one of the main things he stressed. Like, I can't eat. He, I can't eat uh, nothing. Like, even if it's fried in the sand grease, like he can't eat that shit. Yeah, he probably be fucked up. Yeah, shit. That's, that was one of the issues. Yeah, that's one of the issues had at DC because he was like, this this shit smell like shrimp. I can't eat this. Like, oh yeah, he's not even hesitating. Yeah. I mean, uh, he's not even playing around with no shit like that. I feel him. Me, I just don't like it. But I feel like you could you could tap into some good eats here now. So I feel like Keith Keith would get some. I think he gonna have a good time here. No, he would. He would. I think he would. But but I feel like he has to come through Charleston though. Like Charleston is like a staple when it comes to food in the country. Yeah, that's a fact. You put him over DC. Our food. Yeah. Easy. New Orleans. Mm, they give us. They give us a run. They give us a run. They give us a run over anything up north. I mean, what do they really do up north? Like. They like they like a melting pot. You can get a lot of different yeah. stuff up there though. Like it's not. That's what like, I feel like when I come to when it come to food, I feel like it's more of a South thing. Yeah, like we have staple dishes in the South. What staple dishes? Like I'm not trying I to shoot on. No, that. I really can't think. Like, of I was gonna say like or even the West. I think like a lot of soul food places up New York. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like and that derives from the South. So. Yeah, like even like they. It's a lot of. Because where key from? I think he's from somewhere in the West. I want to say Nevada, honestly. But yeah, like even like if you go to New York, like a lot of they, a lot of their best food is like, like import food. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like they got the best Chinese food. They got the best uh, Caribbean food, seafood. That and nigga shit really like been that. off the China man for over a year now. You went off the China man? Real shit. Michael, I had four wings and rice last week. You right? did Asian gourmet? That shit was fire too. I'm okay. gonna lie to you, but yeah. They still doing market price, huh? Yeah. I think that's just what it is now, man. Honestly, okay. I think it's, it's, like, <laughs> it's just gonna change when it changes. It's just gonna change when it changes. Yeah, man. but no, I haven't had the China man over a year, bro. Mm-hmm. Man, it's been a while. Somebody was just talking. Oh yeah, that was a uh, style. Styles P. He was he was up there talking about them. He was talking about you know Styles be on his health shit. Yeah, so yeah. So he brought up uh, like some juices, some black seed oil. And all that up there, and they started talking about the Chinese food. He's like, "You need to stop eating that Chinese food, brother." <laughs> now Styles go, but shout out to Styles, man. He it's good to see that he's he's big on that wave, man. Cause yeah, he, he killing that. That's shit. that's good, man. A lot of us need to really, really be on top of that health shit, our food intake, you know, and all that shit. Because over time, man, that shit it could it could catch up to you. You know, Joe Joe be on his shit like, "Yeah, man, I'm, I'm gonna take this. What is this? This is this black. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna start taking that, but." It's good to see uh Styles his uh his juice his juice bar taking off and shit like that doing this thing. His su- his supplement um line is he killing that shit. I heard he got a good a uh, good supplement. That's, that's line. what it was. He, that was the shit he bought them. That's mm-hmm. all his stuff. Okay, that's what's up, man. Yeah, that's what's up. you know I'd be on the black seed oil and shit like that. But Styles Styles said he I was he said he had an eight red meat in like over a decade, bro. He been on pork for years, years. Yeah. I believe him. You can look at him and tell. I can't give up the bacon, though. 
I'm sorry. I give up, I can give up <laughs> I can give up pork like overall. Though. But you could give up fast a steak or bacon. Bacon. I can give up bacon first. Got you. Okay. I feel like them two. Just I already, I already don't really be eating bacon like that to begin with. Now, like, really, I really don't like. I don't like for breakfast. I don't be eating like heavy meals like that no more. I just don't. So what you do? You keep it light. I eat like a smoothie or something, or like a, a acai bowl. I don't be eating like heavy meals or some cereal, like some granola cereal or some Cheerios or something. But you do have a breakfast though. Yeah, I have a breakfast. I eat breakfast you, now. I'm just saying. A lot of niggas be trying sleep, to sleep when you sleep now. You fasted for like six, eight hours. Oh, that this a lot of <laughs> niggas be trying to do this whole no breakfast thing. Like I'm eating breakfast, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, you can't do that, bro. Even if it's like some toast or some orange, just so I got I something, something, bro. I like can't something. skip that shit, bro. Your body legit just been resting for eight hours. Everything is already burnt up. You gotta, you gotta feed your body, bro. Like that's just what. Kind of, I don't know who started that. The uh, the sleep, the sleep is for losers. So what the, what, the, what do vegans eat for breakfast? I don't know. Probably smoothies or some juice or something. Like they make a juice or a smoothie. I need more than that. Probably eat like some fruit bowl or something. I don't, I'm gonna try to see if Cam can answer that question one day for me. Try to throw a question under his comments. I'm interested to know how what, what he do for breakfast. Is he vegan? But hey, man, shout out to y'all, man. It, it's all about. I know them niggas at the end of the day they're trying to better their lifestyle. So I'm not honestly, I'm not mad at it. I'd be very interested to see how other countries be changing up their food intake though, versus us, because you know uh, America is when it comes to certain shit. You'd be surprised at the different cereals that that's are the banned. Thing. That's the thing because it's the it's the it's the stuff it's the, they put in it. It's the ingredients. The preservatives. Yeah. They don't even allow certain that's shit in certain like, countries. That's why if you go to McDonald's, they shit is technically healthier than our one because Yo, they my boy real- Cam, shout out to Cam who play overseas. He said, Yeah, man, they fat they McDonald's ain't like our shit over it's, here. It's real food. Mm-hmm. Who knows, man? That's the thing, man. Cause even if they do shit like that, them people will burn they sit down. They announced, hey, we 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 putting preservatives in y'all food. I'm well burnt. They ain't going for that shit. They ain't going for that shit. You saw how Norway got a a wireless charging like freeway? No, nah, I didn't see that. I retweeted that shit the other day. So the one implementing like when you drive in like the like the road, they constructed that shit to be basically on some like w- like wireless charging type shit while you driving. If you got an electric car? Nah, I think this is just period. What's it charging? Norway unveils first wireless charging road. Look at that shit. But what's it charging though? It's yeah, charging. I guess it could be anything. Your phone. Mm-hmm. I don't want that shit going on. That's a lot of. That seems like a lot of, like electric waves going through your body and shit. Like the whole road. The whole road, bro. I ain't fucking with that. <laughs> the whole road. I ain't rocking with that. I would, I'd be interested to see how it go. Because, you know, a lot of countries be trying some shit that yeah. we ain't trying. So I'd be interested to see how that shit. First off, we don't even like fixing roads <clears throat> in America. So we ain't even doing that. We never upgrading the roads unless we absolutely have to. Yeah, they definitely wait until like the last minute. They last, wait till the last, last minute. Last like, minute. they wait till the last minute, bro. Even if you be on the interstate, like going to another state, like say if you driving, uh-huh. and you in like the repairs be going on in the most awkward place. Like, you can tell, like, they, we wait. Like, our infrastructure here sucks when it comes to shit like that. It's the timing that I don't like. That's what it be, the timing. The timing. Like, you know that you saw this shit crackling. That shit been broke for years. Come on, man. Let's get this shit popping, bro. Like, you remember how long it took for them to fix that acid phosphate section of the interstate? Yeah. <laughs> that shit was fucked up for years. Over there by the by by the back entryway for the airport and all that shit. All that mm-hmm. shit. Years. Aviation. Tore up. For years. I'm talking about... Oh four, they probably finally went like oh nine, ten ish. Yeah. That construction been going on for some years. Yeah. And then even downtown, they always got something going on downtown, bro. I don't even like going downtown. They always got something going on downtown. But I feel like that's for any city. Charlotte too. You go to Charlotte, bro, downtown Charlotte, bro. Always something going on with the roads. I'm like, nigga, I was just up here a year and a half ago. Y'all still working on the same section? Hey, man, this this why this why our tax dollars going at, man. <laughs> this, this is what our taxes do. <laughs> I 
That's that's all the political talk I got. But yeah, man, shout out to Keith for you, man. I ain't got no beef with you, bro. Keep doing your thing. Keep flourishing, man. Hopefully, you stop by Charleston one day, man. Charleston coming soon. Yeah, Charleston. I think, I think it'll be a Charleston for the year. Over. Definitely. I wonder if my, my would Miami be a uh a, a, like a food stable? I don't be hearing about no shit for real coming out of Miami. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong too. I know Florida got some spots though. I know in Miami the Cubans going crazy down there. With oh, yeah, definitely for sure. Definitely for sure. Shit, he need to pop up in Jacksonville. Go holla at uh Amp and them boys, man. With that oh, that trap house chicken maybe talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. THC. THC. You know who I heard got some fire shit though? Who? Bun B. Yeah, I heard Bum B on um, Bum B Burgers Trill Fox. Burgers. I heard them shit's fire. I heard them shit's was gas. I didn't hear that. My uncle wanted one real bad when uh when his wife uh went up to the uh the Rick Ross car show and they had Trill Burgers out oh, they there. They had the shit out there? Yeah, had the shit out there. But he wasn't able to go. She was out there that was like, man, I'm trying to kiss trying to get keys. She's like, man, the line long as hell. Damn. But I heard Bum B shit be pumping. Yeah, that's 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 I wanna try that shit though. You know I love a good burger. That's that's that was a that's a jeans business. Oh, that's a that's a staple food I'll never give up. For, oh, I ain't for give sure. him a burger. A good no, burger? No, no. I'm never can't give up. You can't you can't Sorry. mess a good burger is a good burger. If I had to go, it it probably would be bacon first before steak yeah, I or can burgers. Do without the bacon on there. But something but you, about it's it. It's so much other shit you can put on a burger, bro. Like it's, yeah. It's, I really don't care to put the bacon too much uh, on my burgers no more. I've been kind of getting away from that, honestly. You don't really need it. You don't really need it. That shit really is just like a <laughs> A taste thing. It's just thing. like a yeah. It's a taste thing. You don't really need the. I don't need. That, I, don't the need I don't need the double bacon. I don't need four burger. strips uh, of yeah, bacon I don't on, need this, that. on this oh, double cheeseburger. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't. Shout out to Granddad from the Boondocks, man. I'm surprised he didn't know jail time behind that fucking restaurant, bro. Mm-hmm. That was some insane shit. The Luther, the Luther burger. But you know, niggas really out here trying that shit. Niggas are trying all the kinds don't, of a shit. donut a donut burger donut on the burger is what. So you don't want your foot, Kobe. You you don't <laughs> you don't watch your foot. Hey, niggas losing. That's what you telling your body. Losing you losing toes first, and then they gonna come back and, and spin the block for that foot. That's all insane, all because you wanted to try those two those two Krispy Kreme double cheeseburgers. Granddad was bugging, bro. Granddad was bugging, bro. Bugging, <laughs> bugging. So what's up with YG selling eight K, man? Hey man. <laughs> I don't know, man. A lot of a lot of niggas not selling records this year, man. But I mean, well, he just the latest victim, man. I saw somebody ask the other day. So is is uh, Drake, Cole, Kendrick, Future the only ones who can sell a hundred k? And they started living. Uh, this and, uh, oh, Nicki Minaj too. That's it. And I was like, Future. I was like, uh, you gotta add Future, Uzi, and Twenty One. Shit, Twenty One. What 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 Twenty One last album did? I he might he might be on the way out of that conversation, but that's one album though. I gonna grill him for one album. He did. I, let me go see, cause I'm pretty sure twenty one twenty one last album did pretty good. I ain't hear nobody as far as sales. about that shit. But I mean, if he sold more than a hundred k, that's a good. So his last album was this year. American Dream. So American Dream did yeah one thirty three. The first week. Mm-hmm. Okay then, stay in there. Mm-hmm. Uzi, we already know Uzi. He he gonna be wrecking shit. Yeah, I think that's I think that's it. I think as we continue to progress, though, that those numbers ain't really gonna become like a a major talk, depending on who though and what they do. I don't expect YG to do no fucking eight K. Hell no. You know I'm not even a YG a, a, a YG fan. I can see how he did eight K though. I mean, first off, it wasn't really no promo for that shit. Um, I don't, I don't think none of the lead singles like really stuck neither. I can see how that shit did AK. People probably looked at that like another mixtape because just read up is a mixtape series, so I can see that. I can see that it was probably some internal shit like they that shit that project just got fumbled overall. Mm-hmm. I still gotta listen to that shit though, honestly, because DJ Mustard sold like what sixteen thousand or some shit like. I that? thought it was less than that. It might have been and less. He than was that, shitting, but his album's hard. His album hard, like you know what I'm saying, like you know. So you think both both can exist? You can sell bad and have a bad album, and you can sell good and have a bad album. Yeah, I mean the quality the quality not based off the sales. The quality is based off the work you put in the studio. Mm-hmm. So if your album good, like 
I ain't gonna knock a nigga if the album good. I mean, I I know people punch down on shit like that, but if the album good, like I ain't going too bad clown it. But I do expect certain people to sell more than eight thousand. I expect YG to sell more than eight. Yeah, but bro. you know, yeah, he should. He's like a, that was he's, that. A, he's a West. He's a stable from his from his from his section. So I feel like he should. Somebody, I saw the game, somebody the say game, most if the if the game drop an album, he not selling eight thousand. No. You know what I'm saying? I'm just comparing them to other people from the West Coast right now. Like, we know Kendrick not going to do that. Blue uh, Schoolboy didn't Hell. sell 8,000. Um, J Rock not selling. I'm just Let me see. Let me see what Schoolboy did. Like, Let me see what Schoolboy did. His album has been in, in, continuously in my rotation, also. Shit, Vince Staples not dropping, not selling 8K. Like, it's a few people. I just feel that uh, that project might have just got fumbled, bro. I don't see no sale releases on here for his. But yeah, that's a very good album. It came out March 1st, actually. God mm-hmm. damn, boy, this year flowing. Yeah. Shit. But I think we really just trending towards a, a area where, you know, certain artists, that shit ain't going to really matter. Um, Travis Scott re-released his mixtape. Days before Rodeo. Rodeo. 200. Yeah, for a 10-year. 200 for, for a 10-year mixtape. Hey, bro, I ain't mad, but Travis different. Yeah, he different. Tra- like, Travis is in that tier of he going to clear pop, some numbers. A, but what pop, Utopia bro. did, like 400, 80? Yeah, something like that. But people, the anticipation was crazy for, for Utopia, though. Hey, what was a better album, Victory Lap or Astro World? I like Victory Lap, bro. I ain't going to lie. Not just because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a more of a, of a Nipsey fan, but I... I thought that was. I feel album. like I give it Asher the edge, but Asher was, was fire a, though. Twenty eighteen has some good albums. Asher you had was Daytona, Astro World, Victory Lap. You had Cardi B, Invasion of Privacy. Some heavy hitters that year. I think all of them got nominated for best rap album, but she won it. Go for twenty nineteen. No, for twenty twenty eighteen. No, it was twenty nineteen. Right? No, it was twenty nineteen. Cause Nip died March. Yeah. He died that March 2019. That's crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Travis, Travis re-release. Just going back and listen, it still sound the same. Yeah, he ain't stepped That's on. That's one thing. Yeah, it he, wasn't stepped on at all. I mean, he owned all that shit. Like they gonna give Travis, even though Travis had issues. Yeah, it that. wasn't like a uh the mixtape for like how we know. Like he didn't have to get no clearance or nothing. I mean, even if he had that issue, I feel like Travis gonna get he gonna get that shit clear, bro. Travis could really just chill, bro. That's what I'm saying. He like, could you chill, know? bro. You just release a ten year mixtape at two hundred, off a, off a tour. All right. Off a world off a worldwide tour. Nike Nike got like four pairs of Travis Scott ones coming out next year. They and got he, four. He printing money, at least three. It's at least three. I know I saw two, so you know there's more coming. Twenty twenty five about to be insane with these sneakers, bro. That legit don't make sense. What they got rolling out. It's like shit. everybody that I know around here. That it's like legit every other week something going to be coming out Twenty. Everybody that I know around here that do this shoe shit for real, like we were kind of talking about that shit like a little bit. Uh-huh. A lot of people are not really liking that shit, bro. I'm sorry. It's you doing a little bit way too much. Now, I'm not. I'm a fan of bringing all this shit out. It's when you're dropping it. It's all the shit is too consistent. So like, what what's really going on with Nike headquarters, man? I said I said Nike broke. Nike going broke, man. Something wrong. <laughs> and we starting to feel the effects now towards the end of the year. They, they could, like we just had the seventeens drop and Agassiz drop Friday. Oh, both of those came out yesterday. No, UNC's came out Wednesday. Oh, okay, all right. UNC seventeens came out Wednesday. I'm not paying three hundred dollars for those. And then I plan on getting them, but I'm gonna wait the market. I'm like that shit ain't about on. to, yeah, yeah. And then the Agassiz came out yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Mm. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on for real? But we'll get on that a little bit later. But uh, Travis, yeah, I mean, he, he prints money. He's a money printer, man. He's just a money printer, bro. He still eat. Like, he make millions off his own merch. <laughs> so he's straight, man. He might tap into being a billionaire one day. Oh, that's coming. I mean, it's coming. Like, I mean. And Travis still young. Is he even 30 yet? He might be 30. He's like 28, 29. Yeah, so Travis got a lot more to accomplish in his career, bro. That's the thing. Like, a lot of these niggas came into the game real young. It hit the ground running. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Travis waking one day and is a billionaire probably around that 40 to 50-year-old range. Shit, I think it might be. You think he could hit it before? Probably like that. Probably by 40. I don't think 50. He gonna, you gotta think he got a different type of fan base, bro. 
He got a different fan base, man. He got a little bit of everybody. Yeah, he do. Who you think? He, he, who's the most though? Who represents his fan base the most? Hispanics? No, nah, I think it's more white people. I don't, that's not enough. I would say white people too. I just think it's more. It's more white people who white who rock with bro. I don't think it's. I, that's not a knock on him though. But all is. all eight K YG sold Mexicans bought that. <laughs> <laughs> So no niggas bought YG. Niggas out. ain't bought that shit, bro. Damn. Mexicans bought that. I'm tripping YG. I'm just fucking with you. But I don't know. But um, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. The boy love him, bro. No, they do love him. Mexicans love YG, bro. They when fuck he, with that when nigga. He, when he dropped that that loco song, it was over with, bro. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Go loco. The boy love that shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh him shit. Him and Tiger fucked him up with that one. Bro. Tiger had a crazy run, bro. So I got a crazy run them them early 2010s, bro. I fuck with that nigga. That ain't got some classic mistapes, bro. Yeah, you do. Yep. That, Shout that, to that. What's that? Black Thoughts. That's on. Black Thoughts. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well done series. You got Black he, Thoughts. He laid, he laid some groundwork with the well done with the well done. Oh yeah, that nigga was nice, bro. Tiger was nice. Nice. Had Black China out the gate. Shout out to her too, man. She's looking very good. But she was always a beautiful woman, man. But I think she just like really finished, completed getting all surgeries <laughs> yeah. done on her. She removed all her fillers and, and plastic out of her. Yeah, man. She really changed her life, bro. Really, really changed her life. I can't be mad at that shit. How you feel about... I want to talk about that real quick before we move on. How you feel about um like people who are known as public figures for a specific thing and then change their life around? Like, or I, I, I feel like people are warranted to to realize uh, a certain path they was taking wasn't for them and allow the change. What I will say though is, I can understand how people may view them. It's hard to view them in that new light because of what they've been known for for all like all them years. I feel like that's a part of it that come with it. I mean, it come with it, but like for man said, or woman, I think people are allowed to grow if they if they feel like the shit that they was on. They felt like they can grow from that, and I'm not against that. I like the whole, you know, people was tripping on Britney Renner, and I was like, I hope she's taking it serious. That's the thing, though. If I hope she's taking it serious. If you, if you, if you got to be ten toes down on what you supposedly switching to, like, but I mean, if she's, if she found, if she found her her path, that leader to that, I'm, I'm people, we don't know what people will be going through in their in in mm, in mm, personal Definitely bro, so, don't. You know? And I don't really have too much backstory on Brittany Renner's. I know, I know with Black China, she, she has been a little bit more open. I honestly feel like her journey is genuine. Who, Black China? 100%. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, hey man, I don't, I don't she know. She don't even want to go by Black China no more. What's her real name? I forgot her real name, but yeah. But I used to always say for years, like, bro, like, she's a beautiful woman behind all that. Like natural, just natural look. She was always just a natural, beautiful woman, bro. Her mama a trip, but her, yeah, she was always a one to me, always. Like even like how she looked now, like she just looked more full of life. She just got a different glow about yeah, her, bro. Got, she don't got that 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 club that club stain on her. That's what it be. That, that going out every night. Mm-hmm. That shit. That should have that should drying these girls out. The, a lot of y'all niggas too. Y'all getting burnt out, man. What age you feel like they really just really want to start to turn over? What Black China like what 37, 38, 30, probably 38, 39 or something like that. Hell no, Mo. She ain't that old, bro. She she older than us. She no, nah, she might be your age. <laughs> she born eighty eight. Oh okay. So I didn't know that. I thought, I thought she was. So she thirty six. Mm-hmm. Probably around that age. It's a lot. It's a lot of girls. It's a lot of girls. Oh, you think it's that? You think it's that late in? That late? Yeah. Oh, that's that's when it start like getting in overdrive. Oh, okay. Got you. Got you. Got you. Yeah. Okay. If they got some common sense before they turn thirty. Got you. Well, you already know me. Twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty. Window talk. <laughs> Window talk. <man. laughs> If you know, you know, man. Hey, man. But yeah, man. Right. I, like I said, it's it's good to see her. It's good to see her take those sets. Brittany Renner, same thing. If they want to yeah, change they, for the better, because yeah, yeah. you know, once they get that whole tag, that should follow you around now. That should follow. I'm not. I'm not. Around. That's the thing. Like, I'm not against if 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 you got some shit on your name and you think that you know you know in your heart that you're not with that type of shit no more. I'm not. I'm not with you trying to you know. 
get that up off you or do or your path lead you somewhere else. I ain't gonna judge you. I'll judge you like if you wasn't genuine with that shit though. That really be it. That be it. I don't really care about that other shit. And you be trying to pull a That's not my first it's not my place yeah. it really it's not my yeah. place. I don't know what you were going through, bro. So. But I think a lot of them really do it not knowing that either the stain is with them or you really compromise something. See, the, because you're not gonna, you're not trying to do that shit at forty. I think and the I, ones who still do it, like they really, really bout that life. I think the girls from like Black China era, like that era, that like era, outside, like yeah. I think, so this way, at eighty eight to what ninety two four. I say, I say, I say eighty six to like ninety ninety three ninety four probably. Okay. So I think like a lot of them probably underestimated like what the internet really was. Like you know what I'm saying, as far as mm. shit sticking around. And there's nothing mm, wrong yeah, with that. Yeah, uh, that's a great point, man. It's, it's nothing wrong with that. Like, so, you know, it is what it is. Because you got to think, like, we're the generation that caught everything. We everything. caught, we Correct. Caught, we caught pre-internet, we caught baby internet, and we caught what's going on right now. Correct. So it's like, people people probably look at that shit like, damn, I'm in, I'm in, I'm still shit from shit that I'm not even on no more. It's still following me around because... People save these shits like you know what I'm saying. Like I was, I'm not that person. They didn't no think more. that like, was gonna be. They didn't, they didn't think that shit was gonna be like that, man. So mm-hmm. it's like I'm mad at that shit. Like even think of the the uh, the uh, Miss Twerk song. Mm-hmm. One of them been stopped. One, one of them still stopped, going, right? Yeah, one of them still going. <laughs> I remember when they got premiered on Jimmy Fallon show or one of them one of them motherfucking show. But like it was yeah, on Jimmy Fallon show. They there was an internet sensation back then, and the they twerk got team? Yes, they was on one of them shows, bro. I would, yeah, it would probably be Jimmy Fallon of anybody. Should it be. was one of them shows, bro, and they got they got premiered on that shit. Internet sensation, twerk team. <laughs> I gotta Google Facts. that. I gotta Google real that. shit. Uh, the twerk team. You gotta think this oh seven oh eight ish. The fucking twerk team, bro. So my this is MySpace era. This is still MySpace era. Yeah, this ain't MySpace. Facebook. Facebook game really take like, off yet. They honestly like oh five. No, nah, you're right. They like 05, bro. I ain't even going to lie to you. 05 on up. Duh, I remember when somebody first made their MySpace page on their phone. Phone now. Yeah. This is 05. When niggas was like still heavy into MySpace, but Facebook was kind of introduced yeah. to the game. Facebook started really like spreading its wings like 07. Because at first it was, it, was, it was education email only. And it was only for college students at yeah, first. You had to have an EDU um, email, so that's when we could have that shit. I think, I think it should have never left that model. Honestly, mm-hmm. I think it should have never left that model. Like, I <laughs> I got my reasons, but yeah. I think oh six oh seven is when you really start to see like the ramp, the ramp up of social media. Yeah, the ad the ad revenue is too not crazy. the ramp ramp up like IG and shit like that, but like. Okay, this is really about to be a thing. Yeah. Like social media, really about we to kinda, be like we a kind of figuring out what we can do. Exactly, with this yeah. exactly. Yeah. Cause why the fuck is Instagram allowing you possibly now to play music when people go to your page? Is this motherfucking MySpace? We lost the plot, man. We not doing. I'm not putting no music on my profile page, bro. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing yeah, that, you bro. Can, like, you can already put that as the as your note though in the messages shit though. Yeah, but I got everybody notes turned off. Oh, you got everybody's time. I got everybody notes turned off. It's like a mini status if that's all you use. So, like a, so Instagram, all you use, I would use all the features if that was the only, if that was my only social media. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I, that's not a bad idea though. Just stick with one thing. I only got two. That. You only got Instagram and Twitter. And I do TikTok for the page. All right. Yeah. I Me mean, for the pod. Yeah, I. I've been it. got rid of Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, Cause you gotta think, Mo. When you start really tapping into multiple, multiple social medias, you become like stretched out. Too stretched out, bro. You gotta, you gotta keep that shit limited. Yeah. Now I'm glad you told me to get on Twitter when you did, but other than that, I don't need nothing else. Cause at that time, I really was just on Facebook at the time and Instagram. Yeah, Facebook's starting to not serve me no more, man. Honestly, it's not. It's just like. For my family and shit like that, like I'll probably hop on there for them. But it's like even then, like all my we got we got different chats and shit. Like it's them just, chats be killing me, it's bro. It's just a lot of ignorance. Like you still you see Twitter some, chats, you Instagram. See, I mean, like Twitter ignorance and Facebook ignorance. Ignorance is different. So mm-hmm. it's like you see niggas who still can't spell correctly that you been new that mm-hmm. couldn't spell correctly, and these people trying to have honest like 
dialogue, like feeling like they can talk about certain shit, but you're mm-hmm. not even, you can't even spell right, and your phone pulls an auto correct you. Mm-hmm. That's a problem for me. Like shit like that, it, it be it be a lot of shit, man. Honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Facebook might be out of here soon. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know, man. Facebook got a hell of followers, bro. Yeah, hell of followers. And you gotta think, a lot of the older people are on there. That's yeah, where that's they get their news that's from. Where get, that's where they get their news. But see, even that's kind of dangerous because there's a lot of misinformation on Facebook. It's yeah. a lot of misinformation on Facebook, man. It is. Man, AI, AI kicking them old people's ass, bro. <laughs> AI. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that shit. AI is, you they yeah, believe in don't, a lot don't of they forget about, for that Don't shit. forget about AI. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it whipping my grandfather's ass if he didn't know no better. Bro, AI kicking a lot of old people's ass, bro. It really like, is. Like, come on, man. This. First off, Photoshop was kicking their ass for one. You remember the giant shit that was going around from like way, way back then? Yeah, I remember that shit. But like, I was talking about some recent shit. I was in the barbershop like a few weeks ago. Uh-huh. And this dude was like telling us that Michelle Obama was a man and showing us these Photoshop pictures. Like he actually believed the shit. My barber was even like, bro, like, just sit down, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just sit down, bro. Like, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Like, you sure this is a photo, it's a Photoshop picture you showing, but you believe this shit though, like you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that automatically excludes you from a lot, like you know a what lot. Man? Like it just do like it's a, it's it's a lot of them type of people on Facebook, bro, who don't know how to rationalize. Shit, crazy. Hey man, y'all got to tighten up with that social media shit, man. No fall for the okie doke, man. Niggas should be knowing better, man. But shout out to all those who want to change and want to change for the better. But all I ask is please take it serious. Don't bullshit with it. And don't play with any spiritual forces for whatever you believe in. Whether you're, you know, Christian, Muslim, um, Buddhist, whatever. Just don't play with those type of forces, man. Don't do that. It's disrespectful to the to the beliefs. So if you really want to change your life, man, take that shit serious, man. Because there's really people out here who really don't play games with that shit. So I just hope you genuine and not for a trend. You got a lot of people do shit to be trendy. And that shit lame. Or they do it because it's popular. Yeah. So either or, man, tighten up. Do your thing. You know, stay on the right path, man. Why is Ludacris drinking glacier water in Alaska? That nigga tripping, man. They say Ludacris going to start an outbreak when he come back. <laughs> I seen a dude talking about some. Yeah, don't do that because I drunk some water from out there, and I literally was sick two weeks after. I couldn't taste nothing, and everything was legit running through me for two weeks. I was like, God damn, niggas! I do want to visit Alaska one day though, but I would never think to put no damn cup in there and drink that shit. You talking that. about millions of years of bacteria, bro? I ain't doing that shit, bro. I ain't doing that shit, bro. Y'all playing a crazy game doing that, bro. Like, I don't fuck with shit. I like think that. when you start reaching levels like that, motherfuckers become bored. Because why is Ludacris even doing that? But he said it was good, though. He said he was... Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I hope nothing happened to him. I'm just saying, like, you playing a dangerous game. Yeah, I don't fuck with shit like that, man. Ludacris need to drop another album, bro. You think people want a Ludacris album 2024? 2025? I mean, if LL can, yeah. Why not? That's true. I think Luda can can put together some good shit. Bro, bro, say you making too much money off these movies, man. Y'all have I don't want them. no more Fast and Furious. They got to catch them when y'all catch them, man. What else is he doing besides Fast and Furious? That's all he need to do. I'm genuinely asking because I don't know. That's all he needs to do. No, nah, they need to pack that shit. He do Fast out, and man. Furious when he not shooting. Was it the last one they was like in space or some shit? Nah, we getting there though. So we, <laughs> <laughs> we getting there. So if he, if he, if he not doing... <laughs> All right, if he not doing Fast and Furious, he's touring and doing his old shows. He was just on tour with uh with Janet Jackson. I saw that. Yeah. Then he was giving away a free concert. I seen that. Yeah. But see, that's Steve the Stoner. Shout out Steve the Stoner, man. He reached out to Brown and wanted to do his uh his thing. But yeah, man. I'd have to see how Ludacris album sound though in, in 2025. That LL shit was kind of hard though. I still gotta listen to that. I still got to listen. But Ludacris, I mean, yeah, I feel like he'll get res- uh, well receptive if he was a drop. Well, yeah, I mean, didn't he get ranked like top five for Atlanta rappers or top 10? Wasn't he top 10? He's top 10 for sure. He's top 10. I don't know. I can't remember the top five, but I know he's top 10. Ludacris had a run early 2000s, man. I know you don't really fuck with dog. No, but... I used to fuck with Ludacris, but it's like as, as I get older, I'm like, bro, like, wow, this is just not for me. Nah, he had some bars, bro. 
No, he had he got bars. Like you saying, so you're not listening to Chicken and Beer in 2024. Some of the songs, yeah. Some I, I still got some shit on my phone. Okay, Southern Hospitality used to listen to. Yeah. Word of mouth used to listen to. Yeah. So he where got, did it go left for you? Uh, Red Light District. Okay, I can see that. That was it. That had Get Back, Pippin' Around back, the World. Pippin' Around the World was fire. Then he had like like some cheesy some shit, shit on there. Eight of the mind was ass. Uh, the shit with uh, yeah, that was ass. Uh, the shit with uh. Where they sampled what is uh, Willy Wonka singing or some shit like that? Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking. I <laughs> see, like it was that the, the slap me a nigga today song. I ain't like that shit, man. <laughs> I ain't like that. Then he had that. Then he yeah, had, yeah. He had, I remember that. Shit. I mean, the song, the song did a lot for him, but the Runaway, Runaway Love was that depressing. was released therapy though. He won oh, a Grammy okay. off that. Yeah, that's best rap depressing. album. That shit was depressing as hell. Best rap album. I think that was around the time when Nas felt like hip hop was dead. That was that 06, 07 window. But... So Theater of the Mind was 06? No, that was 08. Release therapy was 06, 07. Hip hop hip hop is dead was what 06 or 06. Yeah, Release therapy was 06, 07. He won, right, so he won Grammy 07 for Recession release came out. Recession came out what? November 08. Or so October I'm 08. To, I'm trying to think which album that it was because um Jeezy, Jeezy didn't like that shit when um when when uh Nas said hip hop was dead. That, that was 06. All right, so what album was that? That was 102? 06 was 102? Hold on, 106. 102. Thug Motivation 102. That was 06. Because he didn't like that shit, bro. <laughs> he was on the radio. He had an interview on the radio. And they asked him how he feel about that. Because that, that shit came out like Nas was not. All right, said, so 06 was late registration. 07 right. was release therapy. So release therapy came out 06. That came up September 06. Release therapy was 06? 06. He ran up against Lupe Fiasco's Food and Liquor, Pharrell in My Mind, The Roots, Game Theory, and T.I. King. And he won for Best Rap Album. Damn, that King album was. King should have won that. King should have won that, bro. King should have won that. 08 was Kanye graduation. 09 was Carter 3. 010 was rele- uh, Relapse by Eminem. You talking about best albums of the year? Rap album, Grammy. Rap, rap album. Grammy. Yeah. So yeah, yeah that King, was 06. King supposed to get 06, bro. He was killing that shit, dog. And Nas, hip hop is dead. Let me see. Nas, hip hop is dead. Came out September, no December nineteenth, oh six. So he was hating on everybody that year. He said, "Fuck all y'all, y'all y'all niggas trash." <laughs> One oh two came out December twelfth, oh six. Hip hop is dead came out December nineteenth, oh six. See, yeah, that's what it was. He ain't like that shit, bro. He ain't like that shit because he said something about. I think he's yeah. He said, Jeezy, Jeezy clapped back at him. Yeah, he was like, "Did not." <laughs> he's yeah. like, "Do Nas got street credibility?" Hey! Y'all, be- y'all believe Nas ever busts his guns? Mm. I was like, "Okay, man." <laughs> You gotta think Nas twelve years in the game at this point. Longer why, than that. Why Nas can't why Nas can't get his his his, his thoughts and Nas was hating, off, man. Bro. Nas was. was hating though. Nas Just was like a whole was hating on auto tune. He was hating on whole hate on everything, Blueprint 3. Yeah, he didn't like nothing. He didn't like nothing 2000. That's why he had a three stripes of all that shit on the cover of the album. I don't like none of this shit. I don't like none of this shit. Matter of fact, fuck all y'all. I don't like nothing about y'all. Death for auto tune, man. T Pain didn't man. deserve all that hate, he bro. He didn't deserve all that. T Pain did not deserve all that hate, bro. That actually was a fire shit that he did. He was that nigga was killing. He was a hit maker. He was a hit maker, bro. That was some hate and that shit. That 05 to 09 T-Pain, 10 T-Pain window. He carried. He carried. Ooh. And he was so young at that time. I always carrying. keep forgetting how he, he was 21, 22. That nigga was carrying the industry. Fuck all the hate and at shit. At a young age. That nigga was carrying the industry, bro. T Pain was killing shit. He didn't deserve all that hate. But he doing his thing with streaming though. That motherfucker be running it up on streaming. Yeah, he, he's he's one of the biggest streamers right now. Yes, and him and T Grizzly, right? Grizzly Ben got in on the streaming. Yeah, Grizzly that nigga say he that. fuck rap must be. I mean, he dropped when he want to drop. <laughs> he still drop music, but he okay. this, this is really like when he want to drop. Yeah, he music. don't got to do that shit. That nigga making a lot of yeah. Money. But Nas is hating. Nas is hating, man. <laughs> Ludacris, I I would like to hear Ludacris album twenty twenty four. I still think he got some bars. I mean, he got, of course he got to get back in and get in shape, but I still think he could deliver. I think so too. I just got. I, I, I gotta hear it. 
Yeah, because he definitely is. I feel like now, staple, bro. now he just gotta. He he at a point where he don't gotta do. He don't gotta chase the record. He can just rap now. So I I listen to Ludacris in twenty. Who did Banks ask me the other day? Who was uh who's a better rapper? The better rapper between who? Oh yeah, Andre three K or Ludacris? He said, since you like categories, I'm talking lyricists. I said three K. And he was like. I'd give it to three three K just he wasn't because. Feeling that. <laughs> nah, three K been a better lyricist longer than Ludacris has been a better lyricist. Correct. That's just the facts. That's just being real, bro. We not even going to do that. It is what it is. So we got any other new music that dropped? I'm missing anybody. Big Sean album dropped. I didn't get to finish all of it. I listened to half of it. It seemed cool. It seemed a little bit too. Seemed like he on his soulful shit on this album. Ain't ain't, ain't and a lot of rapping on this album. Oh, for real? I feel like he just tapping into his soulful shit on this album. It's it's heavy R and B features on this shit. Do you think? Do you think that Big Sean is at a stage in his career where he can do that? Do you or do? Not think, really. Do I think, don't think this album gonna stick though. That's what I'm saying. Do you think that Big Sean owed us another like him just rapping, like rapping about some real shit type shit? I want to hear some bars. That's what I'm saying. You want to hear more more bars from him or? I want to hear more bars from Big Sean. I could have tell what the album's going to be on just from them couple singles he dropped before the album dropped. Yeah. I listened to it yet, though, but I can kind of tell the vibe. And just real quick, we just got some breaking news, man. R.I.P. the Fat Man Scoop. Damn. Yeah, he just passed away. Damn. Um, age of 52. I did see he got he got into, he went to the hospital yesterday. Damn, rest in peace, Fat Man Scoop. Legend for real. Damn. Fifty two years old, man. That's young. Yeah, definitely for sure. Damn, boy. I'm gonna always remember that nigga on the intro. Of you got served. Man. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bang of record, though. I Shit, ain't gonna lie. Him and him and uh, him and Faith Evans too. Oh yeah, what's that? Uh, uh, love like this. Yeah, love like this. Yeah. I seen a clip of her recently coming back up from when she was on Drink Chance. Oh, Chance. Oh, Faith I, was getting I knew. down, bro. I knew, I she, and the way knew. she said it, she was like, man, I was fucking niggas. Like, bad niggas. Bad niggas. <laughs> <laughs> hold that's on, man. Why, that's what she said. That's why Dick don't do nothing for me now. She was that's like, hold crazy. on, hold on, hold that's on. That's crazy. That's, that's crazy to say I that. was like, God damn, like, you Faith. Got, you got grown kids right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so they was just running through there. Like, CJ don't deserve that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for real though. Like, them boy. Yo, Faith was wilding, bro. She was wild on that interview. Faith was she, but the way she said it, she was like, Shh, "I was fucking mad, mad niggas." niggas. Like, that's why Dick don't do nothing for me now. I'm like, all right, bro. Like, but somebody had a tweet. That's what it was. Yeah. Somebody had a tweet about, uh, like these girls when they come to be like, you know, basically burnt out from the sex. Mm -hmm. Somebody slapped Faith Evans mm -hmm. interview over that shit, that no, I, clip. I, I, I know. And this this had to been 2016. This looked like the old setup that's, from Nori. That's, that's like some of the first drink champs. Yes. That's some of the first drink champs, Yes. Bro. <laughs> Nigga, that shit had me dying laughing, bro. That shit had me tripping. Let me see if I can find that shit, bro. They ain't had to do, they ain't had to do Faith like that, but that's another part of the power of the internet, bro. That's almost 10 years ago. <laughs> I can't find that shit. Bro, Maxwell was 23 when he made Ascension. I don't believe that. That nigga looked at least 30 back then. That's what I'm saying, bro. I was telling somebody, I was like, it's not so much the look. It was like, he's, he's, he's been in the game for 30 years. I thought he was 30-something when he was putting out that type of music. He's 55 right now. He's like 55 or he's in the Yes, 60s. my nigga, you was 23 when you made Ascension. Great shit now. No, it was classic. Because 23-year-olds ain't making that. That was what, 95, 96? That was 96, bro. I thought Maxwell was at least 32, 33 when he came out. I thought he was like 60 something right now. He's he's in his he's in his early to mid fifties. So that makes sense. Yeah, that, that's about right. Let me get his official age. Maxwell is fifty one. He was born yeah, nineteen seventy three. Yeah, yeah. He young. So well, that makes sense then. So he was twenty two when he made Ascension, my nigga. That's crazy. Crazy, what twenty uh, twenty three year old can't make that today? Shit, he was he was under thirty when he dropped. Uh, Fortunate. Well, that's in the same album. 
You know no, fortunate mean? would be because R. Kelly wrote that. R. Kelly wrote fortunate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey man, <laughs> fortunate like what two thousand ninety nine or something like that. He was under thirty. He was dry. He, he nineteen ninety nine. I would say he dry. He hit hard, bro. Maxwell, Maxwell, that nigga, dog. Hey man, <laughs> that's all I'm about to say. Bro. Chill, man. Somebody chill. had a tweet. They was talking about singles. Uh, uh, name a, a fire single run. <laughs> Maxwell single run in ninety six was crazy. Yeah, yeah. He had till the cops come knocking. Ascension, something, something, and sweet lady. Mm-hmm. Nigga, nigga dominated R and B ninety six, Bruh. And he was a, he was a new wave too. I didn't think he was that young no he more. Put, he put that. Soul. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. That's what it, I think. That's what it, it was. That that old. It's that it's that eclecticness, man. That's what it is. You thought I thought he was older than that, honestly. When I first saw that nigga, I was like, "Oh, this nigga like thirty, like got to be in his 30s. He's Bruh. an older dude, and that's how they dressed him too, though. Bro, that nigga Maxwell went on a crazy single run in '96, bro. Real shit. I just posted that shit actually, but who else had some crazy single runs? Drew Hill. Shout out my niggas, Drew Hill. Definitely Drew Hill. We ain't got to say Mike, Mike, Mike whole just album just Jodeci. Jodeci. Mary J with that first album. Heat. Heat. What's the 411? Hella singles. Hella sing. Bow Wow. Bow Wow went on a crazy run. Bow Wow went on a crazy Shit, run. Shit, his whole album was singles, basically. Damn near. His whole album. Where the dog? Be where the, that, that whole shit That's was singles. Classic. That's a classic. It was all singles on that shit. Classic. Ghetto Girls. Ghetto Girls, yeah. Um, thank you. Bounce with me. Bounce with me. Off top, he can't do a bounce with me. What's my name? What's my name? With Snoop. That's that's four. That's four singles that I I knew him to a multi platinum. All right, bro. Hey man. Let me go through some of these quotes real quick. Let me see if I can see some 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 dope shit. Bow okay, on. you got Ludacris right here. Uh, word of mouth area code area, area codes. You got roll out Saturday move, bitch. Yeah. Saturday, my shit. I always think about I always think about sixth and seventh grade when I hear Saturday. So for some reason that song used to always be playing. Like you know your mom would get up on the weekends to cook breakfast and shit. Before mm-hmm. you start the Saturday. <laughs> that's, that's hey bro, look listen to these singles off Mike's albums. So off off um off the wall, you got Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, mm-hmm. Rock With You, Off the Wall, She's Out My Life, Girlfriend. All right, Thriller. The girl is mine. Mind you, Thriller is like eleven tracks. Shit, most of off the wall is singles. But Thriller is all singles, though. Bruh, you got The Girl Is Mine, Billie Jean, Beat It, mm-hmm. Wanna Be Starting Something, Human Nature, PYT, Thriller. The whole These are all in order in which they came out. Yeah. All right, so let's go to Bad. Bad was fucking insane. Yeah, that nigga was going crazy on Bad. He went crazy, and he had a lot of anticipation, a lot of expectations for Bad off he, Thriller. They didn't know if he can come back hard after Bruh, that. Bruh, listen to this. I just can't stop loving you. Bad. The way you make me feel, mm-hmm. man in the mirror, dirty Diana, mm-hmm. another part of me, smooth criminal, leave me alone, mm-hmm. Liberian girl, Liberian speed girl. demon, mm-hmm. all heat. Mind you, bad is only like 12, 12 tracks. He don't drop another album till like what ninety two, ninety three, ninety one, dangerous, dangerous ninety one, dangerous is ninety one. So let's go to dangerous, black or white. Remember the time mm-hmm. in the closet, jam. Who is it? Heal the world. Given to me. Will you be there? Gone too soon. Mm-hmm. That was like the uh, that was like the new Jack Swing inspired like type sound on that album. All right, mm-hmm. like bruh, this Mike was a fucking demon, bruh. You know what I what I wanted like to see though, even though I'm not a big fan of Dog, if Prince and Mike did Dirty Diana, that would have been fire. If Mike and Prince did, that might have been one of the greatest songs ever. Yeah, that would have been fire ever. One of the greatest songs ever. Who hit me up the other day to ask about that Tupac shit? Was that B Dot about I Wish oh, with Kells, yeah, with yeah, Kells yeah, and Pop? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That would have been top five song ever. 
I say top three. <laughs> I mean, that's just well, Pac rapping on that bitch with him on the hook. Come on, bro, stop it. Both versions too, because it's 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 two fire beats to I wish. Facts. The, People, the, the other one who, was homies really, lost. Yeah, niggas homies don't, lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Pac was on homies lost beat. Crazy. Radio, please don't take the nigga out this song. Yeah. <laughs> Two of them versions. Yeah, Mo, you right. Niggas don't... They only know about really I, I Wish. Know, they don't know about, don't know about the homies lost yeah. I Wish. Yeah. But it was some crazy single runs for real, bro. Niggas are really turning up, bro. We got to get back to that. Yeah. All right, so what's the 411? You got You Remind Me, Real Love, Reminisce, Sweet Thing, Love No Limit, Love No Limit is my favorite record off that album. That's the problem, man. Niggas not swinging. You got to swing for the stars on every song, man. Like, you got to go in there and make hits, bro. The hits and, was, and really just sit with it. That's that's the thing. And like, put it in the word. Music was different, too, though. You could drop a single. If you yeah. Had, if you had a good album, if you had a good album. You, you can run. You can drop, stretch out to the next year. That's what I'm saying. So, on King, I saw something on King album. It was uh, What You Know came out in January. Why You Want It came out. March or April, um, what was Top Back came out like these were like the top singles though. So yeah. he basically had a single every quarter of the year that was that's like, basically yeah that was like the shit. And that can make your album have crazy sales in the third quarter. That's what I'm just saying. Just off a single, just off the single. Shit, cause... Biggie all ready to die. That yeah. shit went all the way into. He had some songs come out like late '95. Yeah, we gotta get back to really working the album. I think. The way that music is consumed, I get it. People not really trying to make something that, like, bro, I don't know. That's that's this. the problem. You gotta make something that's gonna stand. Listen to this time. from Prince. So this is from 1999, right? So 1999, the single came out September 24th, 1982. Mm -hmm. Lil Ray Corvette, February of 83. Mm -hmm. Delirious, August of 83. Automatic, August of 83. Let's pretend we're married, November of 1983. Yeah, he was going crazy. Off of one album. That's one album. Bruh. Niggas going crazy, bruh. Niggas going crazy. Who else we got? We got Forever My Lady. You got Gotta Love. Forever My Lady. Stay. Come and talk to me. I'm still waiting. Mind you, Gotta Love came out February 91. Forever My Lady, August 91. Stay, December 91. Come and talk to me, March 92. I'm still waiting, August of 92. So this shit, your album could really live up until the next end of the next year. If you drop in quality. If you drop in quality, correct. Let me go to big shit, man. Cause big, big was really living off of Ready to Die, bro. From at least for two years. F facts, at least. So this album came out September of 94. Let's get to the singles. Juicy, August 94. Big Papa, warning, December 24th, 1994. One more chance, June 95. Yep. Yep. Juicy Juicy was a major single, dog. Major. That shit did a lot from he didn't have to drop too much, bro. Major. All he was doing bro. was working the album that whole time. Life after death has some singles. Hypnotized came out March 97. More Money More Problems, July 97. You know what's so crazy? Funny story about More Money, More Problems when that song came out. So my dad got married in the summer of 97, July of 97. I remember hearing that song, the lead up to his wedding day. Yeah. That shit was on fire in the streets of New York, bro. Yeah, that shit was fire. That song went crazy, bro. Of course, niggas already heard it because the album already had been out. But like when it really officially dropped with the video. Mm -hmm. That video was amazing. It was a big deal. It was a big deal, bro. That shit was insane, bro. Janet Jackson had a crazy single run with Rhythm of Nation. So you got Miss You Much, Rhythm Nation, Escapade, All Right, Come Back to Me, Black Cat, Love Will Never Do, Will Never Do, State of the World. Mm -hmm. Mind you, Mo, this came out 89. State of the World came out 91 as a mm -hmm. single. That's, just, uh, That's crazy. Two year stretch? We gotta think she was she hit hard too. She did, but that, a two, that, that, that album a a two year bro. stretch? Yeah. Janet was a fucking beast, bro. Motherfuckers can't stretch on no album for two years on a single, bro. No way, bro. Cause we gotta think they was she was gonna be like, she was gonna like, she was really the she was the baton catcher for Michael. Oh, Beyonce went crazy with I am Sasha Fierce, bro. Yeah, that album was major. If I were a boy, single ladies. Diva, mm -hmm. Halo, 
Ego, Sweet Dreams, Broke Hearted Girl, Video Phone, Why Don't You Love Me. This came out 08. Why Don't You Love Me came out June 11, 2010. So this is when we crossing over to like, you know, stream. But she lasted that album off for two years. Yeah. Hey, Sweet Dreams might be my favorite song from Beyonce ever. You said singles? Yeah. That album album was huge. That album was huge. If I Were a Boy was the first single. Yeah, that was. Then Single Ladies. Single Ladies might be the biggest single off this album. Might be. Because then you got Diva. You got Halo. You got Eagle. You got Sweet Dreams. I I I think Halo might be bigger. I don't know, Mo. Single Ladies was an anthem. No, it was. I'm talking about commercially, though. Commercially, I think Single Ladies is bigger so? than Halo. It would have to Halo be. Halo is huge, bro. I don't know, bro. If you was to ask, listen. We, I went, I'm not arguing it now, but I'm just saying. I I, per- I think Single Ladies was the biggest single off that album. But it, ha- it Halo was right there, but I think Single Ladies single for sure. Single Ladies hit the streets. That's hit the streets hard, bro. <laughs> but my favorite song from Beyonce might be Sweet Dreams. Yeah, I like Sweet Dreams. I like my favorite, my top three uh, Beyonce songs would probably be Sweet Dreams, Me, Myself, and I. Um, oh, that was a banger, bro. Me, Myself, and I, and uh, what was it? Heaven Couldn't Wait. Okay. Yeah. Me, Myself, and I is a fire record. I ain't gonna Oh, it's a, it's a song off her, uh, off of the, uh, off of the self-titled album. She has some, she has some heat on there, too. That surprise album. Mm. She was in her back on that album, too. I ain't gonna cap. I can't cap. Let's get the brandy from Never Say Never. The boy is mine. May 90, 98. Top of the world. July 98. Have you ever. October 98. Mm-hmm. Almost doesn't count. March 99. Oh, heat. You don't know me. September 99. Everything I do, I do it for you. November 99. All heat. All heat. All heat. We didn't even get the full moon era yet, bro. All right. That album was crazy. We didn't even touch right. we didn't even touch her debut. Yeah, we didn't touch the debut. Full Moon was a classic album to me. I love that album. Let me let me get to let me get the brandy. Debut album. Mm. I love that Full Moon album. That was, those those songs was different. All right, so Brandy debut album came out October of ninety four. No, September of ninety four. I want to be down September ninety four. Baby, December ninety four. Best friend June ninety five. Broken hearted August ninety five. B- between Broken hearted and Baby, those are my two favorite off that album. Mm-hmm. You talking about singing? Broken Hearted might be one of the best because who was Wanye was on that record, right? Mm-hmm. Wanye and Brandy went crazy on that on that record, bro. Went crazy on that record. Man, it's bringing back some memories, bro. Hey man, the good old days, man. Full Moon, you got what singles you had off of there? You had What About Us, Full Moon, He mm-hmm. Is. Brandy had a good three album run, bro. Monica went crazy her first album. Let me see. Uh, Little Miss Thing. Let me see. Uh, You had Don't Take It Personal, 95. Everybody can relate to that song, bro. Uh, Before You Walk Out of My Life, August 95. Why I Love You So Much, May 96. Right. We talking about 14, 15-year-old Brand- yeah, uh, Monica was, was now really doing young. this. She was real young, then. It's crazy. Why I Love You So Much or Before You Walk Out of My Life? Oh, and like this and like that. Can't forget that record. Before you walk out my life, I like that song better. No, why I love you so much. I think it's a toss up, bro. It's really a that toss-up. shit hard. That shit hard to pick. No, I like I love because like, even when 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 before you walk out my life, when that song first comes on, you you feel that shit. Mm-hmm. No, that that that's some good production. That's some amazing production. That shit, why I love you so much like that too? Though. Hell yeah. I love that song. Bro, I'll probably, probably pick that. And if anybody from streaming listens to this, please put SOS Band on streaming. Oh, yeah. There's no reason why they should not be on streaming, That's bro. That's on them, though. It, it's probably, it's probably, it's probably a person. You think they like saying, like, don't put that shit on there? I mean, they got it. They got to go to them, though, if they own their music. That's the thing. Who own the music? No, nah, you're right. You're right. That makes a good sense. But yeah, man, shout out to everybody who had a great single run in music, man. Shout out to black Americans again. <laughs> FBA shit, yeah. man. Let me, I'm going I'm to show, I'm going to show a band, some white band, some love. Cause I ain't going to front like oh, the no, niggas had no hits. No, we got, so, I, got I got a few of white so, bands. So let me get, with. let me get in the NSYNC real quick from, from, from their uh, debut NSYNC. So I want you back. I never front on that record. 
I'll never feel like I want you back. Then you got tearing up my heart. Here we go. For the girl who has everything together again, you drive me crazy. Uh, a little more time on you, I drive myself crazy. Yeah. NSYNC had a had a had a great single run, bro. I'm not gonna front on them. Who you want to get? You want to get a Backstreet Boys? You want to get Backstreet Boys some love? I don't even want a Backstreet Boys. I was who gonna, gonna say to? Nickelback. Okay, Nickelback. What you got? You got Little Friend, Pusher, Detangler, Curb. That's one album. That's off Curb off '96. Mm-hmm. Them boys, they got fire, man. Burn it to the ground. Okay. Far away, rock star. Rock star. That's my shit too. I like rock star. Um, that's it, man. It's a lot. It's a lot for Nickelback yeah. though. Shit, Lincoln Park too. Lincoln Park has some hits. Let's shout out to Bobby Brown real quick, man. Don't be cruel. My prerogative. Right. Ronnie. Every little step I take. Rock with you. That's off one album. All right. I know my parents ran this album in the ground in, in, in 1988. They got married in the summer of 98, too. I mean, 88. They had to play one of these songs at their album. I mean, at their wedding. Had to. Yeah. Every little step I t- Come on, bro. Rock with you. Hey, Bobby Brown was that nigga in 88, bro. All right, DMX, RP to him. We got Get At Me, Dog, Stop Being Greedy, Rough Riders Anthem, How's It Going Down. This off is dark as hell. It's hot. Fire. Shout out to y'all, man. Man, we 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 kill this music shit, man. Big FBA shit, man. Big F- <laughs> big FBA shit. Big FBA shit, man. You know Shout out to us, man. We you know running why, shit. You know I stand there. It's big FBA. It's big shit, FBA man. shit, man. Big big FBA shit, man. Big FBA shit, man. Hell yeah, man. So uh. Get to some sports shit, man. No playoffs for my nose. Niggas hopped their ass across the pond. Lost to fucking Georgia Tech. Damn. So we cook. DJ Ungale, man, go go make some go make how some you, videos. How man. you feel about DJ, man? He, he sucks. He sucks. <laughs> he sucks. This nigga came in with Bryce Young and CJ Stroud. What are we doing, bro? Like he's still in college. Nigga sucks, bro. He's a super senior. I'm gonna say that he needed to get on his Drew Walls. Oh, yeah, they did say that. And I ain't gonna lie though, depending on how the day go at 3 30, I'm gonna feel the same way about Cameron Ward. So you know he, I think Cam Ward to be straight. I mean, we gotta we need to beat Florida. We need to start the season off the correct yeah. way. And um Because you know, this we not going to no playoffs. We ain't win the ACC. I said that. That's... Oh, shout out to them D linemen that was supposed to be hyped up for us. Y'all niggas getting moved off the line. Moved off the line. The DTs moved off the line. Y'all niggas is ass. Niggas getting handled, man. What you did you did you watch the uh, the Colorado Colorado State game? I didn't see all of it. I did see some of it though. I was that boy, boy Travis Hunter something hey, different, man. bro. Bryce Young and Travis Hunter, man. I'm putting it. In, I'm putting it in the in that. I saw somebody say Giants fans. Uh, you look- seen Gilly in the background when he did that catch? Yeah, <laughs> that nigga's a clown, bro. Well, Travis Hunter is a fucking dog. No, he's a, he's a dog. Top he's three a pick. Dog. He's a dog. Top he's top three pick. He's not going below three. They say Shador number one going to I the don't Giants. Know about all that. They say he going to the Giants. And it's not no shot of Shador. I just don't see him having that, that, that effect. effect that, that, no, just the effect of a quarterback. I said my, my player comp for him was Teddy Bridgewater, and I don't think that's a shot. That's not a shot. Teddy Bridgewater had now, a now, Shador. Teddy had a solid career now. Definitely at Louisville. Yeah. Definitely. Before before Lamar took off, it yeah. was Teddy. I just think the player comp is fair. Like they're not really both fast. They can scramble. Mm-hmm. Um, they will stand in there and make some throws. I I need Shador's decision making to be better and his accuracy to be a little bit better. Accuracy is just not measured all completion percentage. I'm talking about actually throwing the ball, putting it in certain spots. Right. I'm not saying he can't become a franchise quarterback, but yeah, as of right now, I don't in. see him going. I don't have him as a first round grade. I gotta see some more work from uh, from Shador. The yeah. talent's there though. But Travis, that's solidified. Like this nigga played like seventy eight snaps by the third quarter, Mo, yeah. on both sides of the ball. Like this is a weapon for real. Like that nigga Travis, that nigga catch was crazy. He ain't. He also had a nice catch prior to that when he had on in, in the back of the end zone. But that one on the side, that one hander. Man, Gilly was going crazy in the background, bro. That shit was insane, bro. Shout out to Travis Hunter, man. I'm looking at NFL taking thorn right now. <laughs> Real shit. 
Let me look at this shit again. I'm going to keep refreshing that motherfucker, too. So they got us taking, let me see, James Pierce Jr. from Tennessee, Edge. Nah, I need Travis Hunter or Luther Burton. Shout out to Luther Burton from Missouri, man. He's going to be one of the top picks this year, too. Um, But Travis Hunter, they got Shador Sanders a mock to the Raiders, bro. I can see that. I can see him on the Raiders. I can see that. I can see that, bro. They need a quarterback because you know Gardner Minshew is a starter, so you already know what that means. They setting up for the future. I wonder how many picks it's going to take to trade up. Good quarterback class is ass this year. Ass. Carson Beck? Mm -mm. Quinn Evers? No. Come on, man. Stop playing in my face. Stop it. Stop it. Quinn Sean. uh, No. um, No. What's dog name? Um, uh, Connor Wegman from Texas A&M. They was trying to hype him up. Like, no, no, we not doing that. Yeah, I remember that. But Luther Burden, Travis Hunter, Will Johns from Michigan, they'll be the headliners for next year. Will Campbell from LSU to tackle. But Travis Hunter? I need him in Carolina, Mo. Hey, man. I need him in Carolina, bro. Him and Bryce Young turn up. That's definitely a weapon. Yeah, so what you think, man? Uh, your boy is a starting quarterback for the Patriots. I'm not Jacoby trying, I ain't hearing that, man, but I mean, <laughs> I don't know, man. I saw that shit. I kept scrolling, bro. Joe Milton said he could throw the ball 95 yards. What you think, Cap? I mean, you can throw it that far, but is it accurate? I don't give a fuck about all that, bro. I don't think he's throwing no ball no fucking 95 yards, bro. Patrick I mean, Mahomes, I, I've, like, seen, I've seen him throw like 60, 65, like off top. But ninety five, that's a that's a long way to throw the ball. But people say they got. I I didn't hear he had a cannon though. So um. he do got a cannon now. That's young thug doppelganger. Yeah, more look just alike. That's thug uh, multiverse character. Yeah, I never forget when somebody posted the picture when the boy said, "Uh, what? Cause what's what's thug full name? Jeffrey. Uh, and you know how that boy put like the name and then they put the year." Mm-hmm. And it was like, oh yeah, uh Jeffrey at Michigan 27 uh 2018. <laughs> I'm like, bro, that really looked like fucking no, thug through the through that helmet. The, the visor on his <laughs> Hell head. yeah. That I shit said, look, oh, that shit. That shit look crazy, bro. I said that shit that looked crazy. I was like, oh shit, that really looked like thug, bro. But you know, Thug used to play football. Yeah. He played football. He played quarterback. It's crazy that we I I be forgetting like me and him are exactly the same age. We graduated high school the same year. He graduated 09. Thug just had a birthday, so happy belated birthday to Thug, man. Yeah, man. So it's been a late, like, uh, Michael Jackson just had a birthday. R.P. to the King of Pop. R.P. to the King of Pop, man. And shout out to Joe, man. Joe just had a birthday, man. Shout out to one of the Godfathers of podcasting, man. Shout out, shout out Joe, man. You be wilding sometimes, though, but I ain't never going to front on you when it comes to potting, Joe. You be doing your thing, man. So the Godfathers of potting will probably be... Combat Jack. Combat Jack and Joe. number one to me. And then Joe... Would you say Tax Tone is a godfather? 100%. 100%. I'm going to only get us tatted like three to four people. That's it. And then outside of us, I'll probably say Rogan because he he came out the gates so nine. But he ain't with them nah, with Rogan, culture. Rogan, Rogan is a godfather. This probably. man's first podcast was Christmas Day 09, Mo. Yeah. That's insane, bro. That's a long time running it up. but It wasn't even called podcasting back then. It wasn't. It was called- so for us, I would say Combat Jack, Joe, and Tax Tone. Yeah. You kind of kind you kind of have to put Rogan up there though, even though he's not of our culture though. Yeah, you got to put him up. You got to put him up there though, like. definitely for sure. And it's unfortunate that Joe and Taxone fell out because them niggas would have did hella heat together, hella heat. They were supposed to do uh, uh, state of the culture together, mm-hmm. but he got locked up. Then he had you know he yeah, rolled with that before that shit. Yeah. Mhm. Yeah. So shout out, shout out to them, man. I'm ready to get the season started though. Season kick off next Thursday. Then next Sunday, that's when we really get into week one of the pro. College yeah, takes Thursday, Thursday, college, Thursday. college really, really who, takes off today. Who got opening night Thursday? Chiefs and Ravens. Chiefs and Ravens? Yep. Well, everybody, everybody um marking their calendars for that first Raiders and Chiefs game, though. Raiders and Chiefs? Raiders and Chiefs. Why Raiders and Chiefs? They, they, you ain't seen during us. They've been talking hella shit to Patrick Mahomes during the summertime and during um OTAs and shit like that. You ain't seen that shit? Niggas, man. That's what I'm saying. He gonna come there and murder them niggas, though. If Patrick Mahomes wins a third straight Super Bowl, I'm not even mad at nobody. I'm not mad at nobody who got him as a GOAT now. But I'm damn for sure would not be mad at nobody who has him over Brady. Because nobody ever did that feat. I can't be mad at that. 
just watching how the how the last Super Bowl broke down and how in control he was yeah, of the this game. Nigga, man, just unbelievable. I thought I I when they when the 49ers was did they, they score? Did they, they it was a touchdown that they scored right, like yeah. right before they drove. I it was, was it was about to be the end of overtime and they scored the game with yeah, touchdown. Yeah, I was like, yeah, this. I was then, like, this shit. but the Forty Nine coach is a fucking dumbass because he said he didn't know what the rules were. Right, everybody heard it you even get, through the you, TV. You, you in the stadium, the, nigga. You get to the Super Bowl and don't know how the rules work now. I ain't buying that. You bro. thought it was the game is not over until yeah, somebody. So what, what, what was you watching? You the thought whole you was time? gonna kick a field goal and then the clock was gonna run out and y'all win? No, we're going to another a quarter, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? Stupid shit. But Patrick Mahomes is just. He that nigga, bro. I will say QBs are in a great place. We got a lot of good QBs, bro. Got, a whole I'm looking labor. for CJ Stroud to take off again. I'm looking for Bryce Young to take a leap. Shout out to Jordan Love. Shout out to Jalen Hurts. Lamar Jackson. I think Herbert going to bounce back with Harbaugh. What do you of course, you, you got about, Josh Allen. What do you think Earl. about the, uh, the Trevor Lawrence and Mac Jones situation in, in Jacksonville? Man, please. That nigga ass. Who, uh, Mac? Trevor. Trevor ass? He's ass, bro. Damn. He got he got a lot to improve on, bro. Real shit. He got a lot to improve on, and this coming from a person who I had him as like no flaws coming out the draft. He took he, a step back last year for sure. He got to learn. He he hit a learning curve, and they had to pay him because they essentially they had no choice. So I get it, but he has a lot of work to do, bro. What I've been seeing, Mac Jones was doing his thing in the preseason. Though. I was seeing Mac was doing his thing. I don't think it'd be no QB controversy though. Shout out to uh, C D Lamb for standing firm and getting his bread. I don't like how Jerry Jones tried to play with that man, though. He was laughing at him and shit like that. You knew he was going to cut that check, nigga. Shut up. He was in great position, too. Jamar Chase still ain't at practice. He got two years left on his deal. But I'm not mad, bro. I'm not mad at that, bro. Like, well, he wants to renegotiate. You want, he want to re-up now. He want 40 a year. That's what I heard. I heard he want 40. I'm like, he worth it. Because essentially, what is 40 a year going to matter in two years? What is it going to matter? Gonna the matter. cap is steadily going up every single year. Especially if they win a ring in the next two years. That number ain't going to matter in about two years. Pay the man. Because if not, you know how many teams going to be lining up to sign Jamar Chase? Yeah. I hope we one of them. <laughs> I, hope, I hope we one of them. I hope we one of them. Shit. Get them right down there with Bryce, man. I like Deontay Johnson. You know we got Xavier Leggett. But if we get the one, the one, and then the rest of these, come on, man. Run it up, bro. Run that shit up, but Bryce has looked good. He was he looked good in his preseason game against the Bills, but you know I don't got no high expectations for us. These niggas ain't driving me up a wall like they did twenty eighteen. That's how you got to do it, man. Just enjoy, just enjoy the games, man. Just enjoy the games, man. That's all. That's, that's all we can do. That's all we can do. Just enjoy the games. I ain't really pressing no lines, man. Whatever happens, happens. Facts. I'm 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 dead ass, man. I feel that about college football. So I'm gonna talk my shit. I talk more shit for college football than I had not have been. And then don't and don't take this as me being a fake Patriots fan or whatever. It just y'all gotta understand. I was I've been spoiled by football for at least twenty years. So like I don't really I I, I judge it differently. I know when I can talk my shit. I'm gonna mm-hmm. still talk my shit when and I lose them, but it gotta be warranted. It gotta be warranted, man. I got more. I got more leverage to talk shit in, in college football because it don't matter if you win or lose in college football. Everybody talking shit in college football. Yeah, Absolutely dude. everyone. I am excited about the twelve team playoff, though. I am. I'm excited. I'm glad about it expanded. Too. I'm glad it expanded. It's needed. Bro. It's needed. It starts, I think, December nineteenth. Yeah, they start December nineteenth. So, and I think the championship game is January twentieth. I'm with that. Twenty. So that's a month. Oh, did you see that? Somebody posted this a month ago. The lineup of like football late this year between NFL and college, probably crazy. Oh my goodness! Especially around Thanksgiving time, bro. It's about to get insane, bro. I think one day alone you gonna have college football playoff. You got Week Seventeen, then you got Monday Night Football. You got Thursday Night. It's about to be a hectic week. Yeah. Somebody just had it lined up. I gotta find that shit, but it's gonna be crazy towards the end of the year with football. Don't ask me to do shit. Don't ask me to do shit. Don't ask me to do shit today neither, because we play at three thirty. So once yeah. that's again, what's the big game today? Clemson and Georgia. Yeah, about to get smoked. Yeah, Clemson getting their damn draw. Smoke, off, man. Hey, man. I think Dabo got like two, two or three more years coaching, man. He's 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 becoming a hey, dinosaur. Man, work the portal. Hey, man, work that portal and pay work them that people, portal, man, and, and get and get the plantation politics out your out your head, cracker. I mean, they gonna get paid regardless. The NIL don't matter. So yeah, no matter what matter. you say. No, but he he know he know what's going on. So the marquee games today, we got Notre Dame, Texas A and M. We got Miami and Florida. We got 
who else? We got Clemson, Georgia. Yeah, man, it's it's about to run up today. Tomorrow we got USC and LSU. And then we play Monday. Man, get the fuck out of here. We play Boston College. Man, we shouldn't even be ranked still. How you losing week zero? That's inexcusable. Get the fuck out of here, man. So we got anything else, man, before we get up out of here, man? Nah, man, I'm good, man. Um, That's it, man. I'm good, man. Shout out to everybody doing anything, of course, man. Shout out to, you know, all of the... Uh, just everybody, all the artists doing their thing, man. Shout out to all the podcasters, everybody who make content and shit mm-hmm. like that, man. Shout out to everybody. Everybody doing their thing, man. And just, you know, help build each other up, man. That's Facts. all with unity, man. Facts. That's all I got, man. You pretty much cleared it up for me, man. Continue running it up. Be safe. Enjoy this Labor Day weekend. And please, please be safe. Yeah, man. I'm definitely going to enjoy my weekend. Please. Man. Yeah. Almost forgot we well, Labor Day was Monday, but yeah, <laughs> definitely. Ultimately, man. please, please be safe. Yeah, be on safe this on this Labor man. Day, man. Be, be safe. safe. Be safe, man. So, like we say every week, man. If you hear anything here that gets you in your feelings, you feel some type of way. Always remember, we're just messengers. We out.